Hey, so last time we made a simple button that toggles a door on and off. Uh, this is a local toggle though, so this means it will only happen for the player that actually clicks the button. But what happens if we now want to make one player click the button, but the door disappear for everybody? That's what I'm going to explain in this tutorial. So. What we need to do to make this door toggle for everybody, if one player clicks the button is... Let me delete this so we just start fresh. So we need to make a new Udon Graph program asset. We just click new, then we open it, and then we're already in our Udon Graph. <laughs> what we need now is like already last time, the object we want to toggle, in this case, the door, and the object we have our uh, our script on. So we open that, we just pull the door in, we make the stat active, we also get the unary negation, uh, the get active, get active self of this object, and then the unary negation. I'm gonna rush a bit through this because the easy toggle is already explained in another video. So we now basically have a toggle. We now just need uh, a flow that is actually toggling this object. In this case, it would be uh, an interact. Like last time we need an interact. So if the button is clicked, we get this. But now to the making a, a, a sync toggle between players. What we need to do is make a send custom network event. This basically takes this input and sends it to everybody. What we now also need is a custom event or a event custom. We drag this one into the set active our object. We can just call this whatever we want, for example, uh, networking. So we do that, then we reload our script once uh, and compile it, sorry. Com compile and then reload, yes, there. Now we have our network in here and can select that. So every time a player interacts, it sends a custom network event and that runs this script for everybody. This basically already works. This would sync the door to everybody. The problem that we now have is if this door is inactive while a player joins, so like a late joiner, it wouldn't be synced anymore because the door would then be offset. So the original player would have the door on and the other would have it off and so on. So what we need to do is actually make a small script that is protecting it from late joiners. So late joiners aren't having like a different state of the object. So what we want to do is get an on player join. What we now need to do is make a branch. Because what we basically want to do is every time a player joins, we want to check for networking and then is master, which is the instance master. So every time a player joins on player join, we look if they are the master. A branch is basically just checking the bool value for true or false and then taking one of these routes. So what we want is the master, so the original owner of this world. So we need the true output. We want this to go into another branch because now, now we have, it's checking if, uh, if it's the master. If not, it's just terminating the script basically. What we want to do now is we want our door and we want to get a get active self again. We don't want a unary negation now, we just want this. Because we now are checking if the bool of the door is true or false. So if the door is on or off. So if it's on, we get a true value. If it's false or off, we get a false value. We now need what we already had before, send custom network events. We need two of those, one for true, one for false. So every time a player joins, it checks for the master, then checks if the object is true or false, and then sends an event to everybody to sync up the door. 
So what we need to do now is get a custom event again, call this on for example, then we need the door and we need a set active again. Now we don't want this to have the unary negation again because we want to specify the value. So on is checked and then we can just copy these and paste these again. So we have this and we just change the name to off and change the value to off too. So we compile, reload. So now we can select it here. We want the true value to be on and the false value to be off. So this one is just a toggle and this one is if a person joins like later on, like you are already in the world, you have already activated the door and everything. So that is all properly synced up. So every time player joins, checks if it's the master, if not, nothing happens. If it is the master, it checks if the object is on or off for the master. And then it syncs that state of the object up to everybody. It sends a send custom event. So for example, if the door is on, it sends a send custom event with the tag on and sets the door to the value on. If the door is off, it sends a custom event with the name off and sets the door to the state off. Compile the script and you're already done. If we now go into play mode with CyanMU, you can, you can test shit in Unity itself. So what we can do now is press this button and it still toggles normally like it should, but this is also syncing up to everybody in, else in the instance, even if they are like late joiners.